What's up everyone? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Welcome back to some Forza Horizon 3 and in today's video I'm gonna go ahead and build this thing. This is the Tank Pool 24 Mercedes Uh, Jesus Christ. 2015 Mercedes-Benz number 24 Tank Pool 24 Racing Truck Forza Edition Anyway, this is gonna be a truck that I did say in one of my previous videos that I'm gonna go ahead and build as a drift truck just because I wanted to. Just because I thought that this would be such a funny thing to build as something that could slide. But, I mean, this is the fourth edition version of this truck. And it's really nippy. Definitely not something that I expected for it to, like, be good at. I mean, it's a racing truck, so obviously it'd be quick. And I like the way they zoom the camera out more in this game. I think when it comes to... When it comes to, uh, to driving trucks and big things, because I remember in Horizon 4, the camera was still so close to the, the actual vehicle when I was, like, in the furthest view, which was like this. Also, this is completely stock. I haven't touched this thing at all. I'm just showing you guys what this thing is capable of. Stock. Um, but I'm very, very excited to actually try and play with this thing because I think it's going to be really, really fun. Now, like I said before, right? I know that this isn't going to be something crazy. I know it's not going to be getting a lot of points and stuff like that, but I still think that we could get this thing to slide and be very good. Anyway, as I'm going down the hill with this thing completely stock, seeing what sort of points it can get, uh, yeah, I want you guys to consider subscribing to the channel. If you're brand new here and you enjoy the content that you see, um, if let's say this is like your second or third video or whatever that you're watching from me, you know, or this is your first video, you know, um, and you like what you see, just subscribe because it helps out a lot. It helps me out to reach my goals of... 350,000 subscribers before the end of this year, which I'm just gonna oh, oh there it is. There's that bug But um, yeah, it, it helps me reach my goals before the end of the year Which I, I think I'm gonna get before the end of the month actually in the next few days 100% because I think by the time this video is gonna be uploaded I'll probably be very very close to reaching 350,000 which is crazy to me that it happened so quickly But uh, obviously it's all thanks to you guys so huge shout out and huge huge thank you to everybody uh, New that's been coming to the channel watching the videos and enjoying the content so yeah, I want to I wanna say a huge thank you to everybody that's been, uh, that's been supportive and uh, subscribing and watching, liking, commenting, just anything that you're doing. Um, it's just it's just helpful to me. It's just very, very good, very, very helpful. Um, now, what I want to do as well in this video, for the people that are watching right now, I'm going to start accepting, so obviously for the older people, you guys, or not the older people, but like the older subscribers, you guys should know that, uh, that I had a series on the channel on Horizon 4, where I would basically check out the tunes that you guys make. So, I want to do the same thing again. Get your share code for your tune and send it to me down in the comments of this video. And in the next video, that I end up uh, actually doing a specific video on that, where I check out people's tunes, I will go ahead and pick two random tunes from, a, uh, from the comments. So I'm not going to be like biased and be like, oh yeah, I'm going to pick this tune because it says something in the comment. I'm going to pick two completely random tunes, so... In the comments of the video, you can literally just, or sorry, in the comments of this video here, you can literally just type in the share code and that's it. You don't have to type in anything else or what the car is or what it's built for. You can if you want. It's up to you. But again, like I said, it's going to be picked out by by an AI. It's just going to be completely random. It's just going to use RNG and it's just going to pick out a random tune for me to try out in, in one of my next videos. So uh, if you want to have that featured, if you want to have one of your tunes featured, I'm going to go ahead and check it out. I'm also going to pick the person's name. Uh, I think in like the previous series back on Horizon um, 4, I used, to, uh, I used to just take the share code out of the comments and just, you know, say, you know, it's a good tune or a bad tune. But I think now I'm also going to like show off on screen what the tune... Well, I, I always do show off on screen what the tune is, but I'm going to show off like people's names and stuff like that. And obviously give you a good shout out if the tune is good or if the tune is bad and stuff like that. So just, uh, just so people know who you are pretty much because it's a little better if I just do that instead of just download the tune and that's it. I don't really know if I should be doing anything to this, to this truck, by the way, right now. I'm, you can see me sliding this thing down the hill. It's actually not even bad at all. And I love how people used to... I, I want to try and get a million points with this thing down the hill. I want to know if it's possible. I've seen people before start flexing that they got a million points going downhill, or like people asking me to get a million points downhill. I was like, that's, that's just really easy. Every car can do that. Is what I really thought to myself, because I, pretty much every car that I've driven down this hill, you know, that is, you know, remotely built for drifting, or just at least you know, can have enough power to go and oversteer through some of these corners, it's very much possible to get a million points with it. This thing's a little heavy right now, and I think it might need a little bit more power to get those rear wheels out to spin. But overall, with the way I'm driving this thing right now, I squeezed out 733,000 points. Okay. 
Well, I think we know what we need to do here. Like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and try to build this thing as uh, as well as I possibly can for drifting. I don't really know what sort of tune I should be putting on this thing. <laughs> the massive truck. Actually, well, how much does this thing weigh? I shall obviously anyway once we uh, once we start upgrading this thing. So it's probably already gonna have a lot of the performance stuff changed on it anyway. Weighs four thousand seven hundred fifty kilos. I thought this was gonna be a lot heavier than that. It's got a twelve point eight liter engine in it though. Okay. 1,700 horsepower as well. I think with the standard engine, we could probably... Wait, what's the standard engine then? Full power of this thing. So what if I add all this? Uh, wait. Let me go back to this. 2,597 horsepower. So this is pretty good already. This is really, really good already. For this, we can only change it so then it goes into fully rear-wheel drive. Do I want to do that? Hmm. As much as I think this could be kind of nice, I don't know, man. Like 2,000 horsepower going just to the rear wheels. I feel like this is why this was good to slide downhill because it was all-wheel drive. Because I honestly do think... Oh, my God. I'm putting that on. <laughs> I honestly do think that because this is built the way it is, I, I just realized I can't do much. Like, I can't really change much for on this actual truck. Should I put one of the new wheels on it? One sec. <laughs> we'll go to, like, Rotor Farm or something. I'll put something, something completely stupid that's not supposed to be on this thing. Um... Let's have a look. Some rotor form wheels on this truck. <laughs> they actually don't look that bad. I'm not even gonna lie. <laughs> let's just do that. What? Uh, wait, let's change the wheel size as well. Go nice and... I was about to go nice and big. It literally just goes up to like 21 inch. Okay, interesting. I can't change tires. I can't do anything there. Uh, everything else, I guess, is pretty much bought. Uh, I'm gonna put the race transmission on this thing. Keep it as a six speed as well. This is stock. We'll put a drift diff on it. Um, like I said, I'm probably just gonna leave this like that. If I make this just rear-wheel drive now, I feel like it's going to have a bit too much power for the rear wheels. Plus, to be able to clear all those corners, especially that I don't have the specific tires that I need, I honestly do think that uh, leaving it all-wheel drive and then just tuning around it being all-wheel drive will probably be the best idea for this. If I want to actually be able to get good a good amount of points and actually clear the corners properly, um, especially with the limited amount of, you know, tires and proper tuning that I can actually do to this thing because I could probably do I can put stuff here but again this is a, a racing truck it's not a drift truck well it is going to be by the time I'm done with it um most of the power going through the rear wheels which is 81% which is fine I'm gonna mess with everything I'm gonna literally mess with every single thing here um I'm gonna get this as well I don't really need that first for the rear so I'm gonna do that um yeah I'm gonna mess with everything and uh, I guess I'll be right back all right I've been testing this thing out a little bit and uh, it seems alright. I'll put a share code up on the screen for anybody that wants to actually use this truck. Let's see what it's like. But let's just see if I can squeeze out a million points with it. It's got to be difficult. Just because I need to I need to drive a little bit differently to a normal car. Again, this thing is absolutely massive. It has a lot of torque as well. Like, pushing myself through some of these corners is going to be kind of... Kind of difficult just because... It, again, it's all-wheel drive, but I still need to... I need to floor it in some of these, but it just feels weird to drive. Weirdly enough, everyone, it actually feels like it weighs about four tons. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think the setup right now is very similar to the way it was before. It's a lot stiffer this time around instead of it, like, sort of rolling a lot. It also does have a lot more power, so I can... I can use that to my advantage pretty easy. I can't have a huge amount of angle. I don't have, like, a... Uh, Drift suspension. Drift suspension would definitely increase my steering angle. Which is the one thing that this car doesn't have. It also looks weird because I'm not getting a lot of points with it, right? Like, you, you see at the bottom of the screen, like, I need to force myself so much wider than... Or not wider, sorry. I need to force myself to have so much more angle than, than other cars with this thing. Because it just looks like it's struggling to get points. Even though it's still clicking, I can hear it clicking, right? When I'm getting points. It's just the thing is not moving. Oh my god, that was the cleanest corner I've ever taken. What? That was so smooth. Again. Oh my god. There you go. I spun it finally. I just gave it too much power in the transition. It's so nice to drive. I definitely have a lot more points than the last time when I was, just, when I was here. I'll tell you that. I'm definitely going to get an extra 200,000 points, which is pretty much what I finished off with. 
And I have about halfway of the track left to go, or the road, I guess. It is a bit of a challenge to slide this thing, I'll tell you that. But I think this thing as a rear-wheel drive is not going to work well. And the reason why I say that is because I don't have the steering angle that I need, you know? I like the handbrake though, the handbrake is good on this thing, it slides forever, it's great. I think the one thing I'd probably change with this thing is tire pressure. I, I want to probably like bring the tire pressure up a little bit more. It's pretty standard on this right now. It's like I, I haven't, I don't think I've touched it. It's about like 20 or 30 psi. So I'll probably, probably end up changing that. That'll probably help my back wheels at least a little bit more with, uh, with like losing traction. But I think the camber and toe setup that I have is actually not too bad either. It just has a nice amount of. Nice about the grip in the corners, especially those front wheels. I need those front wheels to have as much grip as possible, you know, because like if I if I don't, then this thing is gone. Like it just goes. Most of the power is going through the rear wheels. I think it's eighty-five percent of the power is going through the rear wheels. So I changed it so it's very rear biased. You know, I still need to counter steer a lot with this thing. I think if I was to bring more of the power or the torque or whatever to the front wheels, I don't think it'll drive as well. Okay, there we go. 1.1 million points with this thing. On the Cara Este. Is that what it's called? I'm pretty sure. Yeah. The Cara Este Drift Zone. Oh, don't go that way. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's nice. It's genuinely nice to drive. It's a, Like I said, it feels a little weird with the... It just still looks like it has positive camber on the front. Which is very weird because it just doesn't. It has negative camber. Anyway. It's, it's weird to drive because it's absolutely massive and it feels very heavy. Uh, but, once you get used to it, it's actually not terrible at all. And again, like I said, still most of the power going through the rear wheels, so you still have to counter steer and do all that sort of stuff, you know. The, the front wheels won't really help you out too much when it comes to, uh, when it comes to, like, all-wheel drifting, you know. Oh, that would have been clean. Anyway, I think that's it. Thank you everybody for watching. I really hope you enjoyed today's video of the build on this drift truck that I have. Um, yeah, like I said, I put the share code up on the screen at some point during the video so you guys could have uh, downloaded it and tried it out yourselves. But that's it. Thank you everybody for watching. If you want to see more videos like this on the channel, then please subscribe. Like I said, it helps out a lot. And like the video, comment, share, do whatever it is you guys want to do. But for now, that's it. Again, leave share codes down below on the comments of this video just so I can use them in the next video that I end up uploading, and uh, that's it. I guess I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.